take you to a very nice, beautiful place in the Swiss Alps. It's the mountains that take you over to Italy. It's called San Bernard Pass. So this is how it looks like from the top. And flying the drone is going to go up the mountains, showing you the Italian Alps, Italian side of the Alps, while we're on the Swiss side of the Alps. So it shows you all the route we're going to ride, which is this one. It's really slippery, and you get lots of melting glaciers pouring on top of the road, which is really not the safest. Look at the twisties, how they look like. So if you're on a superbike, you have to be careful because it's really, really slippery. So don't get carried away. And so no matter what your your, your your what are your abilities, you still can land yourself in shit. And these cracks could be very dangerous. So watch the video, share, like, and subscribe, and it helps me grow my channel. Watch how we'll get up there from starting from the Swiss villages from the canton of. Uh, Bern are heading up to Swiss San Bernard Pass, passing on to Italy on another video, and you can watch the full series if you would like to. It's very informative and it's super cool, so stay tuned, watch, and subscribe. So these passes open in April. Several passes, I'll list them on the right hand side of the screen, which are one of the most beautiful places to ride in the country. They open them certain times of the year, starting from April and depending on the weather conditions because you can really never trust it. So this video was shot when it was 26 or 27 degrees Celsius at the bottom at sea level. Once we got up 2,700 meters above sea level, started looking like that. There by that mountain is Italy. So now we're riding the Scrambler in the Swiss village. The very calm Swiss life. You get supercars every now and then. Also, um, uh, lots of beautiful flowers growing on both sides. And then there's always someone testing or promoting their cars by commercial. This was a Spanish car company running, I think, a tour. So you get all the Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches. Then we're going to keep climbing. In less than a few minutes, you'd be on the top of the mountain and then you would notice the fast temperature drop. So temperature drops about 15 or 20 degrees, becoming 5 and then becoming minus five on the top of the mountain and becomes really slippery too. So Watch the video till the end. You will see all the route and all the places you could ride so you save yourself the mess of having to go and discover for yourself. This was me in the last scene on top of the mountain once I got there. I was a bit tired and thirsty, so I had some drink. And this is my channel. If you would subscribe, I'd be very happy and grateful because it helps me a lot with covering my equipment cost. And uh, so far, my channel is not monetized yet. So if you can share my videos also on different platforms, it would really help a lot. Look at the cracks on the road. As I mentioned, you have got lots of small cracks. This is from the water seeping into it and expanding causes these cracks and there's no way to make it any better it always happens keeps happening the road is also two ways so taking over overtaking someone is really dangerous I suggest you don't do that also there are hidden um, radars and uh, police checks so you should not really overspeed even if no one is watching because you will get stopped I think it's monitored by radar there there is the place where James Bond shot one of his films, I think it was Golden Finger, a very old film by James Bond, was chased by an Aston Martin DB9 on one of these passes, and I think it was this one. Look at this bend. Record the same footage. It would be good to have a motorcycle library of all roads and all places to ride for fellow riders and motorcyclists. You see unbelievable scenery, things you've never seen in your life. <laughs>